And a van went past me. And then they stopped about 20 feet past me to pick me up. And I ran up to the van. And just as I got up to the front of the van, they threw all over my uniform. They had Coca-Cola and ketchup and whatever. From, they threw it all over me and pulled away. I think I have a, a silent sense of rage. The need to scream at everyone and tell them, wake up. They're home. They hear, they love, they cry, they feel. They're in pain, and why doesn't anyone care? The first time that I went outside of the hospital, and it was a business day in the middle of the week, and I'll never forget how stunned I was. And I felt like you're shouting, wait a minute. It's business as usual. Everybody's going about their job. Don't you understand there's a war going on? This is Bob Mueller at the Republican Party convention in Miami Beach, 1972. We feel that it's our patriotic duty to stop this war as Vietnam veterans we served over there. So we're going to read this statement to President Richard M. Nixon. We have fought in your war and lost. We have been maimed and crippled for the rest of our lives. We have lost many of our brothers in this war. We have killed men, women, and children. Every day we ask why. We cannot live with this. Now is the time for all good presidents to come to the aid of his men. Four years ago, you ran on a peace platform. Four years have passed, and this corrupt and immoral war still goes on. You have lied to your country. We now strip ourselves of those medals for courage and heroism those decorations for wounds we suffered, we cast these away as symbols of dishonor, shame, and inhumanity, and dedicate ourselves now to the peace and brotherhood this nation once held as its heritage. There was much shallowness and rhetoric then, but the view of authority, the so-called consensus, against which all other opinions are measured as biased or politically tainted, was challenged as never before, both by those who fought and those who did not. For many people in America and Britain, that was the true meaning of the Vietnam years. An alternative to corrupt power and war was seen as practical as it was idealistic. People who went to prison for a principle were no longer eccentrics, but genuine moral heroes. So too were those soldiers I knew who deserted not out of fear, but in disgust who refused orders and fired intentionally over the heads of an enemy they respected more than their own. <laughs> 